All right, Shalom. Um, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Wahara Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. And peace and salutations to the hopeful elect that are told in its truth. I'm Pathaka Moth, GMS Dallas. I'm just coming back at you with another lesson, man, uh, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Uh, and I think that I'm, that I'm going to entitle this one, These Nations are going to serve the nation of Israel, you know, and you have 18 nations on the planet uh, uh, to this very day, which when you go into the Bible, you come to find out that all 18 nations are uh, in the Bible, man. You know what I'm saying? Those 18 nations, uh, which were created, you know, from the foundation of the earth, of the world, man, you know what I'm saying, are still here to this very day, man, you know. And Esau has changed everything, you know what I'm saying, to to try to uh, uh, confuse and offset a, a prophecy, man. You know what I'm saying? This devil has changed the names uh, of lands. He's changed the names uh, uh, of the uh, the nationalities of the people, you know, which everybody has a biblical nationality. All nations have a biblical nationality. There's 18 nations in the Bible and there's 18 nations on the planet Earth to this very day, man, and all of them. Are, are referenced in the Bible, man. They're found in the Bible. So these nations are going to serve so that they, which the, the heathen nation, which are the 17 other nations outside of the chosen nation of Israel, are going to serve the Israelites, man. You know, beginning and starting with the elect, man. You know, the one third. You know, because the curses are going to fall, which they're already starting to fall upon these nations, man. Especially these these uh, uh, Edomites, man. Who are the self-proclaimed so-called white people today, man, who go back to your forefather Esau, man. You know, you're going to serve the nation of Israel, man. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, uh, you know, first of all, all nations have uh, put their hands on the Most High's people and they've uh, uh, had uh, uh, the nation of Israel, which the nation of Israel consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American, Seminole Indians uh, of uh of Negro descent, you know, you're the, you're the 12 tribes uh, of Israel, which are no longer lost, man, you know, we're found, we know who we are now, you know what I'm saying, and all nations, all 17 of these heathen nations, at some point or another, for some period of time, have had you in, in a, a captivity, man, throughout the, throughout the ages, man, you know, throughout history, you know what I'm saying, and, uh, they're gonna have to get that back, and, and the, the, uh, the Edomites, you know, which is the current captivity, which we're still in the hands of these devils, was the worst uh, uh, captivity of all captivities, man. That that Israel has been under, and they've been under some 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 pretty bad ones. But this was was this was the worst, man. You know, by far. So you're gonna have to get that back, man. You know, all nations. So we're gonna get into some scriptures just proving that, you know, hey, these nations are gonna serve the nation of Israel, man. You know. So this is Deuteronomy chapter 30. In verse 7, and it, and it reads, And Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, thy power, will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee, which all nations, like I said, have had the nation of Israel in captivity, which I'll, I'll prove that really quick. You know, let's get that real quick. This is 1 Maccabees chapter 2 and verse uh, 10, and it reads, what nation hath not had a part in her kingdom and gotten of her spoils? You know, so that verse, this verse right here in 1 Maccabees 2 and 10 proves that all nations have gotten of the kingdom of Israel. You know, they've gotten of her spoils, man. So all nations have had the nation of Israel in, in captivity at some point or another, man. So this refers to all nations, man, but especially you Edomites, you devils, man. You know what I'm saying? Deuteronomy 30 and 7, and Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, thy power, will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. So all nations has 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 uh, uh that has uh hated the nation of Israel. You know, all nations are considered the enemies of the nation of Israel, and all has per persecuted the nation of Israel, man. But but the, the worst, the worst one of all has been at the hand of of, of you Edomites, man. You so-called self-proclaimed white people, man. And you're going to have to get that back, man. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to have to receive of the curses of Deuteronomy 28, the 28th chapter, man, verse 5. As a matter of fact, I'll get it. 
the 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 uh, 15 through 68 man because that fell on the, the Israelites. So it's gonna if he says he's gonna put it on 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 the uh, the enemies, you know, of the of the nation of Israel, all those that hate thee and persecuted thee, you know, that means it's going they, they're going on y'all. And it, and it, and this is Deuteronomy 28 and 15, and it reads, but it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord Yahweh shall thy power to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall shall come upon thee and overtake thee. You know, so these things I mean, we already know these heathen nations are not serving the Lord, man. You know, they're not keeping the commandments of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? So since they wanted to pick up this book, you know, and take the covenant of the Lord in their mouth, they're going to be, uh, uh, they're going to receive of the judgments of this book, man. And it tells you that in Psalms, the 50th chapter, man, you know, around verse 16, you know, and that, and that happened, man. So, hey, you're going to get that issue, man. You know, dirt, the, these the, things are about to fall on you devils, man. You know, the, all nations, but especially you devils. You know what I'm saying? And when you go into the curses, man, Hey, it goes through all those things that happened to the nation of Israel, man. It's going to happen to you, man, you know. But I want to get to this one, uh, 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 you know. As a matter of fact, let me start at verse 64. It's Deuteronomy 28 and 64. And it reads, And Yehobah Shai shall scatter thee among all people. So a scattering uh, of, of, of you is coming, man. From the one end of the earth even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods which neither thou nor thy fathers have known even wood and stone. Now, we already know that all nations are going to serve uh, uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, because all of the, the, the gods and idols and gods of these other nations are going to be destroyed, man. You know what I'm saying? So the, 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 uh, the God that, that will be or the power that will be being served in the earth is, is, is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the power of Abraham, the power of Isaac, the power of Isaac and the power of, of, of uh, is Jacob slash Israel, man, you know? And uh, let me jump down to verse 68, and it reads, Deuteronomy 28, 68, And Yahabashim Shai shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships, by the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again, and there ye shall be sold to your enemies for bond, bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. And seeing as you, you, you did this to the nation of Israel, you're going to have to receive of that, man. You're going to go into slavery just like uh, uh, you, you led them into slavery, man. You know what I'm saying? And you're going to be scattered and, and, and bought into slavery, man. You know, you got to get that issue, man, which is how you're going to uh, uh, serve the Israelites, man. And the scriptures go into that, man. It's Joel chapter three. And I started verse three and it reads, and they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for an harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. And that happened by way of the. Uh, the transatlantic slave trade, man. You know, this these things happen, man, to the to, to the nation of Israel. You know, the southern kingdom went through this. Verse 4, yea, and what have ye to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon, and all the coasts of Palestine? Will you re, will you render me a recompense? And if ye recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I re, return your recompense upon your own head? So there is no payback. You there's nothing you can give the Lord that's gonna make him turn uh uh the judgment that you're about to receive uh, uh, away from you, man. You know, he's going to put that back on you, man. What you what you dished out, you're going to receive, man. You know what I'm saying? Verse 5, because you have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples my goodly pleasant things. Verse 6, the children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem, which the children of Judah is the southern kingdom, the so-called Negro tribes, and, and the children of Jerusalem is the, is the uh, northern kingdom. The, the, the uh, Hispanics, uh, 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 Native Americans and, and, and Seminole Indians, man. It says the children of all, uh, the children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians. And, and that proves that both kingdoms went into slavery, man. You know, northern and southern, man. You know, and, and, and they were sold to the, the Grecians, man. The Grecians represent you self-proclaimed so-called white, white people, man. You know, you Edomites. That ye might remove them far from their border, and that and that happened, man, because you came over by way of uh, Cristobal Colon, who we were taught to be Christopher Columbus, and, and them and them damn con, con, uh, uh, conquistadors came over here and scattered the, the the northern kingdom, almost decimated Gad, you know, take you know, and, and, and scattered the the northern kingdom, and then of course them devils went to to the western coastline of Africa, you know. Uh, and, and took the the southern kingdom, man, and scattered them as well, and bought the majority over here to the Americas, man. You know what I'm saying? 
and that, and that should move them far from their borders, man. Uh, verse seven, behold, I will raise them out of the place where ye have sold them and will return your recompense upon your own head. So the, the Lord is going to raise us up out of those places we were scattered. You know, Matthew 24 and 31. You know what I'm saying? You know, he's going to he's going to, you know, he's going to send those angels throughout the four corners of the earth and, and retrieve the the elect, the one third of the nation of Israel, man. You know, that's that gathering of the scattered. Scattered and, and will return your recompense upon your own head, man. So you're going to get that back. What you did by, by taking uh, uh, the Lord's people, putting your hands on them and, and taking them into slavery and scattering them. That's going to have to come back on you and it's going to happen to you. Verse eight. And I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the children of Judah. And they shall sell them to the Sabians, to a people far off for Yahweh Bashem Yahushai has, has spoken it. So there will be. Uh, uh, another slave trade in the earth, man, you know, and that's going to bring that servitude, you know what I'm saying? Because these nations are going to serve the nation of Israel, man, and the scriptures back that up clearly and plainly, man. This is Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 1, and it reads, For Yahweh Bashim Yahushai will have mercy on Jacob, which Jacob represents the Israelites, and will yet choose Israel, there it is right there, and set them in their own land. That's how you know them fakes in the land are not the Israelites, you know, uh, there is no legislation or paperwork. You know, these unrighteous de decrees, you know, Isaiah the 10th chapter goes into that, uh, you know, the Balfour Declaration, you know, of 1948. That's how these devils got in the land, man. You know, that's not how that's not prophecy. You know, it's telling you how the, 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 the true people are going to get back in the land. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is going to put them back in the land, man. You know, when Yahweh Shai returns, he's going to, uh, uh, as we just read, he's going to gather them out of the places they were scattered. You know, Matthew 24 and 31. And then, you know, they're going to be placed back in the land by way of prophecy, man. When Yahweh Shai returns, Isaiah 14 and 1, for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And those strangers are the, are the foreigners, man, those Gentiles, which are Israelites in the New Testament, man, you know. They're going to come into this thing as well, man. Verse two, here's the point. And, and the people shall take them, you know, and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them. Those people, these heathen nations, especially you Edomites, and possess them in the land of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for servants and handmaids. Slaves, man. Servitude. And they shall take them captives, slaves, whose captives they were. Transatlantic slave trade happened, man. It began in 1492 and continued on into 16, uh, 19, 1620 and beyond, man. You know? Uh, and they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. Because right now we've been oppressed by these devils, you know? The Edomites, man, the self-proclaimed so-called white people. So there it is right there. Servitude is coming, man. You know what I'm saying? Because you, 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 hey, man, you're going to have to give that back, man. You know, we were made to, 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 to uh, serve you. Now it's your turn, man. You know, and, and guess what, man? You're going to get that servitude double, man. It's uh, uh, pursuant to the scriptures, which I'll get that. You know, you're going to get that issue double, man. This is eight. This is a Revelation chapter 18 and verse six. Reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her according to her works in the cup which she hath filled, filled to her double. And that cup represents affliction, slavery, man. You know what I'm saying? So it said we're going to reward you with that same cup you feel because you feel that bad boy to the brim. man. I think it poured over, actually, man, you know. You, 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 you Edomites, you devils went too far, man. You know, you did too much. So it says reward her at Revelation 18 and 6. Reward her double, even Salaki. Reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her, double according to her works in the cup which she hath filled, filled to her double. So that cup, which is slavery, affliction, you're going to get that cup uh, uh, double. As a matter of fact, let me go here. Let's go to Jeremiah, the 49th chapter. In verse 12, and it reads, 
For thus saith Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup, that, that affliction, that slavery, and that's talking about the Israelites because they're the chosen nation of the of the uh, of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. They were always set up and to uh, they were originally set up to uh, uh, have slaves, servants, and handmaids, but you know only if they kept the law, statutes, and commandments of the of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, which they didn't. So the, the so the Lord had to change, uh, you know, put them under these devils and under these nations in servitude, you know, so they'd understand. Hey, man, you went off. This is your punishment. But at the, uh, you know, the, at the end of the day, they're gonna get all that back, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's just part of the the the, the, the story, man. You know, but Jeremiah 49 and 12, for thus said Yahweh Shai, behold, they whose they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup that that slavery that affliction have assuredly drunken. They went into slavery, man. They 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 got that, affli that affliction, man. And art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? Are you going to get away, Esau, with what you've done? Well, he's going to give you your answer. Thou shalt not go unpunished. So you're not going to get away with it, man, even though it may look like it. You know what I'm saying? And it don't matter how much you, you got cats out here like Vocab Malone, that, that, that stupid Christian uh, that recently uh, uh, came talking about beware of the black Hebrew Israelites, which were not black. You know what I'm saying? We're talking about we're speaking heresies because we're 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 talking about keeping the the commandments. You know, just devil just through, man. You know, Jake is done, man. The Most High ain't dealing with that. He's gonna kill these niggas, man. You know, which my elder did a beautiful lesson going in on that on that dude, man. You know, but Jake is through, man. You know. Trying to save these devils, man. It says he's not going to go unpunished. It's right here. We're reading it. It's on your screen right now. Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. Drink of what? That cup, man, which represents slavery, affliction, man. You're going to get it and you're going to get it double, man. We just read that in Revelations 18. So stop, man. Stop with the madness. It's not happening, man. You're not going to get away. You're not going to get out of this, okay? You know? So let's keep it moving, man. Uh, Jeremiah, the 30th chapter and verse 16. And it reads, therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured and all thine adversaries. Every one of them shall go into captivity, man. So hello, slavery. Slavery is in the Bible, man. You, you, you people better wake up and snap out of the, out of the, of the uh, sleep, man, you know? Jeremiah 30 and 16, therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. That's all nations, man. They've all put their hands on the Israelites, man. Especially you devils, you Edomites, man. You self-proclaimed so-called white people. And all thine adversaries, every one of them, which all nations are adverse to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai's chosen nation of uh, people, the Israelites. But especially the Edomites, man. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. And all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. So you're going to have to give that back, man. You know, that was sown, man. These things were sown. So you got to give it back. You know what I'm saying? There is no getting out of it. <laughs> there is no getting out of it. You know, so you're going to get that back, man. Servitude is, is all through the scriptures, man. As a matter of fact, it says in, in Isaiah 60. Let me get that real quick. This is what's going to happen because you're going to have Esau, you know, especially these Edomites, they're going to rebel, man. You know what I'm saying? Because the other nations were, were, were created to to uh, to uh, to basically uh, uh, submit, man. You know, Esau is, is the opposite, man. This dude ain't going to repent uh, pursuant to uh, Revelations. Uh, what is that? The ninth chapter, sixth chapter or ninth chapter? It goes into how this dude ain't going to repent, man. You know, so this devil ain't going to repent. Even after the destru this destruction, this devil ain't going to repent, man. You know? This is Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 12. And, and, and it reads, For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. So for, for that to be written means there's going to be some rebellion, man. It's going to be some nations and kingdoms, you know, that's going to... You know, which we know that's Esau, <laughs> you know, you know, these prideful ass devils, you know what I'm saying? That feels like, you know, they ain't going to bow down. And, you know, they're the pride of these devils feel like they uh, are, you know, bigger and better than the, than Yahweh Bashim Yahushai himself, man. You know what I'm saying? But they're going to learn a, a, a hard lesson, man. You know? So, hey, it is what it is. And that's why, 
This right here is why Yahawashai said what he said in Luke, the 19th chapter. This is Luke chapter 19 and verse 27, and, and it reads, But those mine enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, because that's what he's going to do when he returns. He's coming to take dominion of the planet Earth and, and, and reign over the over these uh, uh, other nations, you know, take dominion, Alpha and the Omega. But though, and it's, it's obviously it's going to be somebody that's going to have a problem with that. But those, Luke 19 and 27, but those mine enemies, this is red letters, the Messiah is speaking here, man. These Christians don't know verses like this is in the Bible, man. Luke 19 and 27, but those mine enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. So Yahweh Shai said, bring them before me and kill them in front of me. I want to watch you kill these demons, man. You know? And Yahweh Shai commanded that, man. That's a commandment. <laughs> Yahweh Shai spoke it. That's a commandment. He said, bring them before me and kill them in front of me, man. You know? So these things are going to happen, man. You know? As a matter of fact, let me go back to let me go back to Isaiah real quick. I'm gonna drop down to to verse 14. This is Isaiah 60 and 14, and it says, "The son, the sons also of them that afflicted thee, shall come bending unto thee, and all they that despised thee." shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet, and they shall call thee the city of Yahabashim Yahushai, the, the Zion or, or, or a Tazawan, the Mon, uh, the monument of, of the Holy One of Israel, man. You know what I'm saying? Because the Most High didn't forget his people, man. He's not going to forget his people, man. You know? But they're going to come and, and bow, man. You know? Because they're going to be getting afflicted, man. So they're going to bow. They're going to bow down, you know, which is that servitude, man. These nations are going to serve, man. This is Isaiah chapter 49 and verse 23. And it reads, and kings shall be thy nursing fathers and their queens, thy nursing mothers. They shall bow down to, to thee with their face towards the earth and lick up the dust of thy feet. And thou shalt know that I am Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, for they shall not be ashamed that wait for me. You know what I'm saying? So, a hey, in-house babysitters, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you nations, man. You know, you Edomites, man. Y'all gonna be working, man. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. You know, and that's what that is. That's in the Bible, man. These things are in the Bible. That's servitude, man. You know? So these nations are going to serve these 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 heathen nations outside of the nation of Israel are going to serve the Israelites, man, beginning and starting with the elect, man, you know? So, hey, it is what it is, man. You, you got to straight out the scriptures, man. You know, these things are in the Bible, you know? So, if you got a problem with that, you got a problem with, with the Most High, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai himself, man, you know? So, hey, with that, hopefully this was edifying to the hopeful elect, get, with, uh, you know, with that, giving all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Wahawah Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to the elect, the house of David, the Bayath Shah Dawadat. Shalom.